Welcome to Let's Play Forza Motorsport 4, part 194. Oh shit. I'm driving this. Selena's 331 Super Cab. Big ass truck. So, let's just go ahead and upgrade this thing to the top of B class since this is a B class event. And. Yeah, here's the parts that are going to be put on it. I did not look at that list as I usually do. So, I'm going to downgrade this thing a bit. Um, ah, eh, fuck it, I'll just take off power. That'll work, 586 horsepower, 646 torque. God, this thing weighs two and a half tons. Jesus. It's a big-ass Turk. No, I pressed World Tour. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Career in the amateur division. Here you will Fuck. Subcompact cars in a uh, short five race season. Balls in my face. All up in my face. Today, you'll revisit the uh, why is this not skippable? For a race on the why did you not make the skippable turn 10? God damn it. Okay. Anyways. Pass that. We're doing an SUV sport truck open. Limited to the SUV body style. This is another event where I could have used the El Camino, but I've already done the classic game room stuff, so... I'll use this Celine that I had sitting in my garage, because I'm like, oh, I wonder if I can use this in the Celine thing. But nope, okay, so... Here's our five venues, let's start off at the Peninsula. Alright, here we go. Oh. Wow, test drive, fucking Evan Guitar here, man. Um, uh, can't you can't be an Evan Guitar Hero man test drive unless you sight read FC a random custom song uh, filled with memes. Yes, I am referencing that guy. Also, big fucking trucks. How you do? Williams, what are you doing? Why are you slowing down so soon? Bill Wurtz has gained 16k subscribers today. That's what happens when you release a big video and everyone's all super hyped for it. Oh yeah, today as in like, past hour and 15 minutes. Cause hey, today is a new day cause it's past midnight, it's 1am, woo! Holy shit! Big ass slide, okay. Everything's happening. Hello, Rossi, how you doing? How's that Mercedes treating you? A little bit of a scrape on the outside wall, don't mind me. Oh. I just slowed down because I saw Rossi stu tap the brakes. I did not want to ram into his ass. Especially can, since I can't see shit in front of me. This truck is very large. Excuse me, Rossi. But yeah, you know. Fucking history of the world. It's the number one trending video. And hell, it still might be. Plus the fact he hasn't uploaded anything in many months up until that, you know. I'm sure a lot of people unsubscribe thinking, oh, well, he's abandoned the channel. And it's like, oh shit, he's alive, subscribe back, subscribe back. Etc, etc. Billverse is amazing. Oh, God. Dude, Sharknado's the best movie. What the fuck are you talking about, JC? It's so stupid. That's what makes it great. Wasn't the subtitle for Sharknado 3 like, oh hell no, or something? Something silly like that. So, um, I'm kinda winning this race. Got about a three second advantage. Yeah, three seconds on Rossi. Celine truck is best truck. 
I like how this thing starts in D-Class, probably because it's so fucking huge. And heavy. Who is Bill Wirtz? He made the, uh... Oh god, he's a YouTube former Vine guy. He made the History of Japan video last year. Was it last year? That was fucking amazing and got a lot of attention. Okay, there we go. Race one down. That is some fucking kind of textural error with that center window. Like, for a while, I thought it was just some kind of reflective thing. Nah, it's just fucking a void from the front of the truck. What the hell? I don't even know. Hmm, Weber finished last in his Audi. GG. Uh, Russo ended up sixth. Okay. Oh, so Russo instead of Jones. Well then. Anyways. Wait, no. Russo's the European guy. Never mind. Anyways, let's go to the race two. Hey, look, it's the Bernese Alps again. Oh, boy. Oh, God. At least I'm going to have more frontal visibility. Since I am going to be doing this race in interior view. But, that's not going to make the race any easier. Well, actually, it might make the race a little easier, because I'll be able to see how close I am back of these fucking trucks and SUVs and uh From what few videos I watched of them last night, Jason Paradise is pretty great. That's a lot of damage. We almost got Okay, we're going this way. Holy shit, I thought we were doing the short short course. We're not doing the short short course. We're doing the medium short course. Holy crap. We're good. Everything's fine. Everything's a-okay. We've almost pegged the speedometer. The interior speedometer. Why is the interior speedometer set so low? Like, I know it's a truck, but it's a Celine truck. Come on. Surely they would have made the speedometer go higher than 120. Excuse me, Rossi. That was a nice tidy pass. Yes, medium short short course. Who wears short course? I drive short course. Wall. Okay. And pegged the speedometer. For a very, very short amount of time, but still pegged it. Oh, shnikes. So much large vehicle behavior. turn. <laughs> just mind me, just throwing around this two and a half ton big ass fucking thing around a big snowy mountain. An aesthetically pleasing big snowy mountain. Oh shit. Oh crap. Okay, having a, a big enough gap. Go 
drive safely around this last turn. And there we go. Yay, a Bernese Alps race that didn't suck might drass as far as like difficulty. Sweet. Alrighty. Well, there we go. Wow, Miller finished third. Holy shit. Seventh to third. Nice. Very nice. Alright, two down, three to go in the truck series. I'm just gonna call it the truck series. And race three takes us to Maple Valley. Full course. We're not doing a short course. Fuck that noise. We're doing a full Maple Valley for two laps. And I'm not going to be able to see a goddamn thing in front of me. Hooray. Ooh. Threading the needle here. That's an extremely, extremely thick piece of thread. Excuse me, uh, Williams. Anyways, yeah, going back to the center window thing, um, that is some weird shit. I literally cannot see Rossi's car, <laughs> oh my god. And Rossi himself is even driving a large thing, and I can still can't see it. Center window thing is really fucking weird. Like I, like like I said at the end of the first race, at first I thought it was just a reflective texture for whatever reason, but no, it is completely textureless. Oh shit! I'm pretty sure it was the same way with the uh, the Dodge Ram that I drove way earlier in this LP. So all I can say, really say, is what to heck turn ten? What happened? What happened to your trucks? Oh shit! It's so. Just, I don't want to stop looking at it. Such an anomaly. Anyways, I have a two second lead. After one lap, hooray. Miller's up to third again. Miller's just having a grand old time with these trucks. Ooh, big ass slide. Fucking reflection pop in on the bed. Just looking at that shit now. And how like low res the reflections are and stuff. I'm just looking at a bunch of weird shit, don't mind me. Now I'm looking at the back window reflections, because why not? Oh god. We're good, everything's fine. Have that under control. Basically, I'm kind of paying attention to everything except actually, like, just driving. So I'm kind of, uh, easily accomplishing that here, surprisingly. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, well the good news is I did not flip it. I almost rolled it, but I didn't. I guess it's good I had that 7 second lead. I'm still finishing in pit lane though. So, um, that happened.
Okay, CJC. Holy shit. Alright. That was, uh, <laughs> that was a near disaster. But we're good. Everything's fine. And let's move on to our fourth race. Okay. Well, after that near disaster at Maple Valley, let's move on to the, a track that will definitely be a disaster. At least turn one. Um. Nurburgring. Boy, turn one at Nurburgring in very large vehicles. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, I think I got a huge bump from Rossi there. Somehow, things went very well. Maybe the fact that these vehicles were so large kind of uh, made things a little calmer. Just a bunch of scraping instead of heavy hits in the first turn. It's a nice uh, three wide between Rossi and the two Jeeps. Oh, excuse me. Okay, well then. Compensating for my privately owned track, Circus Minimus. You fucking know it, bro. Fucking Circus Minimus. Makes me want to play NASCAR Rumble now. Fuck you, Q. Rumble's NASCAR Rumble's a good Mario Kart game. Ha uh ha. -huh. Well, I have a huge lead. Sure, I'll take it. Four seconds up on Williams. Damn. At least the Jeeps are actually doing well and they're in the top half of the field. Sucks for Miller, though. As I say that, he passes Rossi. But will he make it onto the podium for a third race in a row? I think he's been on the podium the last two races. I don't fucking know anymore. Early signs say no. But the race is not over yet. Just watch Rob Scallon's new video, what, fucking the Biob one? Or has he uploaded a new new vi- No, he hasn't, because he does this every- Uploads every Monday. What the fuck am I talking about? Yeah, the video video is great. Vocals were a little lacking, but it's fine. Also, I can't really, uh, I can't picture Doug Walker as a- as a waiter in a really, like, not a waiter, but like, a, sir, uh, a person that works at a really fancy restaurant. <laughs> yeah, who knew the cello could sound co so cool? All you have to do is pick it. Just use a pick on the cello. There you go. <laughs> and anyways, I win. Yay. Miller finishes fourth. Rossi finished third. So somewhere, we had a little... Fucking three wide situation or something between Rossi Miller and Taylor. Interesting. So that leaves one race to go. Alrighty, and our final race takes us to the Hockenheim Ring for two laps around the national circuit. So. Let's do this shit. It's another truck adventure. Easy into turn one. 
you got a good exit. Nice, and I didn't even cut the course. Hello, Miller, how you doing? That ram sure is fast in a straight line. Oh no, let's not go four wide, please. Three wide is bad enough, and I'm the one that forced that, but shut up. Excuse me, Taylor. Oh. Oh yeah, Miller's truck sure is ram tough, ram fast, ram mean. I don't know. Let's be easy on the brakes here. Oh, we're flying off the track. Oh, hi Rossi, how you doing? I was not expecting to close that quickly on you. Whoopsie. Of course, must uh, look at the textureless center window frame again. Got to bring attention to that at all times. No, it was a single player, not online. If this was online, I'd be trying even harder to race cleanly. You'd be like, well, you fucking bitch, you fucking run me off the fucking track, fucking piece of shit, fuck. Alright, just keep it together through this final lap. shouldn't be difficult. This thing is really easy to control, it's just you have to remember that it's a very large thing. So, you know, you can't really throw it around everywhere. Yes, I know, that was a bad Xbox Live impression. Shut up. There were no racial slurs. Fuck off, Q. Also, I didn't mention fucking thine mother. It's been a while since I played an online video game, okay? Or did any online gameplay of a video game. There we go. Excuse me for not remembering how stupid people are on the internet. By people, I mean children. And another easy win for the Celine. Sweet. Actually, that might have been the easiest of the five. So I won by five seconds. And, ooh, Miller actually fell all the way back down to seventh after his good uh, start. Back to where he started. Sucks for him, I guess. So. Our first, uh, won every race on the first try of these semi-pro events. Hooray. So yeah, that'll conclude this segment, so next time on 4 is a 4, we'll drive probably a much smaller vehicle, so stay tuned for that.